So last time we had to learn four monkeys' names, and they were names because the short, long, in different patterns, those were the monkeys' names, because that's what Akinar said. And then we had to issue an attack command so they'd attack the predator attack that monkeys? was down the, Yes. Yeah. And there was so one much. monkey that was a grenadier monkey. Grenadier. He was bluish color, and he could throw better than the other monkeys. I love that name. Yeah. That's just great. Yeah. yeah. So now we are in Cirrus Island, and it, did you ever play Oblivion? Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, nice. Did you get the DLC yeah. for Oblivion? No. Gonna, oh. I'm gonna lower I'm the like audio just a smidge. Person. That sounds really loud. Well, just lower it here. Where? Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. Hey, we have. Hello, dear viewer. We <laughs> missed you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. That I happened. Feel like, I feel sad I never thought of that one before. <laughs> yeah, it, oh. yeah. uh, so this this reminds me of the Mage's Guild Tower okay. in the DLC. Okay. So we, we haven't... I've seen, I've seen pictures. We walked down the end of the staircase in the last episode, then we cut it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So beyond that, we don't know. Right, and there's a book awesome. behind us where she tells uh, Cirrus that she'll teach him to meet. Uh, Aisha. Yes. Oh, Aisha. Also, we're happy we can't open the book, which means we probably can't or shouldn't have to do more with the language. Yeah. So, no more bookshelves. Sure. Except for the one that we've yet to figure out. Yeah. So, I'm guessing it's locked. Yeah. That book, yes. Also, he blew open the I'm thing tell as he, well. He learned a magic fireball spell. That's and blew it up. That's we, pretty awesome. We don't know. I mean, I, I, that's what I'm assuming happened. That seems like the most logical thing to have happened here. This doesn't seem safe. Hey, stairs. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, like, burned. Mm -hmm. In fact, it almost looks like it was... Well, maybe not. I was thinking maybe it was, like, hit from the outside somehow. And that... They did hit it with a cannon in the other one. one. Yeah. It's just a really cool environment. And the music. Oh, yeah. the music. It's so, it's such a departure from the other place. Yeah. Can we look at this? Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. Um, we have yeah, there's an here. elevator of some kind within that probably calls it. Is this the, is this the platform lightsaber <laughs> duel music uh, from, from Star Wars Episode 1? Well, not anymore, but it, it kind of had that. Like, <laughs> There's a picture. picture. Yeah. yeah, that you yeah. thought was super creepy. I did. Yeah. Come on. You must have seen it a million times, Colonel. What was it like? Father was writing. Mother was left of him. Who had the boat? I had the boat. Yes. Yes, I had the boat. So he carved that. Decade. Yeah. No, it's. I was thinking it was more like 20 years. I yeah. don't think it was 20 years. No, because I think it was. What? What did he um, uh, well, In the other one, he ate meat. Well, but here, he probably just sustained himself with his magical fireball spells. How old is Yisha? Yisha is. Dream right there. We think 12 or 13. So it, it was our guess. Could have been a decade because. Or 20. It was closer to 20 years because Yisha wasn't born. Miss one right. or ribbon. Right. So it's been at least 14 years. Okay. And then. Yes. Oh, memory. Oh, wait, that's the changed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty mediocre memories. So, okay. Does, it's does, growing? 
Does that slider... Is that usable? No. So, do that memory again. I think that's showing us that it used to be shorter. Or else we're higher up. See, that might growing. be his calendar. No, 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 no. I mean, because now the whole thing right. has shifted upwards. Everything has shifted upwards. Crochet. But that slider thing wasn't on it in the memory either. Well, what I was saying is that could be something like a calendar to him. Because if it has a regular growth rate, yeah, you can tell true. time by it. Yeah. It was kind of beating, like almost like a heartbeat or something, which is interesting. It's uh, not doing that now. I'd say it's probably growing. So there was no like interaction with that slider. Mm -hmm. Nope. But that's just nothing that yeah you know, I can see. You want to take a picture of it? Yeah, it could hurt. Oh no! What if we use up all of our pictures though? All nine hundred ninety-nine. <laughs> yeah. These are legitimate concerns. You never know, man. You got to be careful. You yes. never know. Reminds me of like the. Uh, Go left. Place from uh, no, Dragon try. Age. You know how like you go into the what's it called? I don't know that any of us have played Dragon Age. His brother I played have. it a lot. Oh, you played it. I have. You did. Yeah. What's wrong with Your you brother know? plays Dragon Age a lot. That is a great series. Mm -hmm. That's a very nice series. Oh, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah, the first it's all right. Origins was really fire. Oh, hello. Must be cool. He hasn't learned his fireball spell yet. I thought I was the only devious one in our family. But this... Oh, this is classic. No book, father. No blinking. Fuck! Oh! At least he sees the humor in it. Thanks, nurse. Thank you. I know that three exclamation marks should have followed his last think. You know? When I, when I read that, I thought he was going to go, THINK! And it well, was more just like, like THINK. That is, <laughs> that's Akinar. It is interesting. I Did mean, we that's have... three exclamations for him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We never saw Akinar's face in any of his flashbacks, did we? Yeah, we did. He has no. a... No, I don't no, think no, we no, did. No, no. The, the one where Sirius and Akinar are hugging. I mean, I think they're fighting. Well... Whatever, okay, they're that, interacting there with was each other. That one. Saw, but he never really, it. like, addressed the camera like No, that. no, I don't think he did. That was kind of a monologue. It was great. I think they should make this entire game series full of, like, Deadpool-esque monologues. <laughs> <laughs> like, fourth wall breaking. Just... Oh, yeah. Well, we haven't tried abduction yet. That's <laughs> true. Or Uru. Wait, I'm okay. sure that did something. Yeah, that did something. Maybe it turned on the one up higher. <laughs> Maybe you hold it down. Hmm. Oh, oh you just have to wait coming. forever. That's a cool elevator, though. That is a really cool elevator. He built a spiky elevator. How did he make all of this stuff? It might have been there already. Yeah. Maybe so. I think we figured out at one point that these were the worlds the brothers most like going to, so they're the ones who trapped him in. No. We didn't figure that out? No. He, these are the worlds that... You think you could have gone up? That, um... Oh. Atris yeah. forbade them. Oh, because that Chris was in the Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Because they were... Oh. Prison agents. Oh, okay. But I thought they'd been here before. Uh-uh. Because, uh, Akinar was all excited about the gems. He was like, Oh, there are so many of them, I bet there are more further in. And he had never seen them. Oh, yeah. Um, fuses? What is that? Those are. That could seems... be fuses. Huh. You remember that they're blue but, and red. I sort of wish you had gotten like electricity. <laughs> that would have. I would have like, <laughs> made this a lot more. Maybe insane. you should be a little more careful next time, moron. <laughs> this is game over. Delete save. <laughs> oh, have fun from the beginning. Oh. At least we wouldn't waste as much time on the books. Yeah. Stealing or figuring out all Go the monkey stuff. Yeah. I want to make sure I don't steal the Oh, uh, I was going to say, oh, we could, we, we can we've just go back. We've all pretty much finished. Oh. So that's a... 
crane? Like flying. No, it's like yeah, the flying thing. ship from yeah. uh, Miss Three. Oh, okay. It may not be on a oh. track, but does, is, that's what it looks like to me. I don't think so. It, it doesn't like have like a balloon. Number? Oh, that's I guess cool. it, maybe it does. Well, I mean, everything seems well, to have a lot of electricity and, yeah. like, stuff Yeah, but, like, that. like did the one in Miss... magnetic. Because oh, Miss 3, you had the big, like, dirigible balloon. Right, and I'm saying I don't see a big balloon on that, but so I'm not sure that... But more like a electric train model. Right, right. Would be my guess. Right. Okay. I, I, I'd said I thought it was like the one in Miss 3. That's what I was saying. Uh, I was saying I don't know that I it looks the that. same because... Yeah. They do have lightning, that's the effect. Wait, what? Well, all right. How are you supposed to do that? You gotta winch something in there. Well, hey, oh, we, we can have go up. Ladder. Ladder. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. You're not hard. wrong. <laughs> you, you are. Exactly. <laughs> you know, other places got. Idiot! You've run these calculations a million times. Counterbalance the magnetic forces perfectly, otherwise the ship won't get out of the dock. And you do want to get out of the dock, don't you? After all these years of trying? What is he running these calculations on? Is he engraving them in stone? Okay. Take a I picture of that. Is a computer. I don't Can know. Can you flip if... this open somehow? Well, I guess. Those one, two, three, four sliders. It, yeah, there. <laughs> Can't do anything with it. What is happening? Oh, try, try flipping the switch, then, then trying that. Uh, all right. Oh, ah. okay. Okay, now can you adjust that? No. Does the thing on the far right hand side? Oh, is that like a level where you gotta yeah, get a dead a center? Okay, just oh. move the thing in the middle again. It looks like it could either be. Oh, oh. Okay. Can you slide it further right now? Oh, go back. Left. Oh, so now the one's on top of the What? If. Uh, what? Uh, uh. Okay. Made it work. Did you just? Get I might have just read and guessed this correctly. Whoa. I think that's where it started. No, no, it didn't yeah, start it up there because it was floating down here. Okay, now turn, turn the flip switch again. Flip the switch. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe you should just leave yeah, it. Yeah, maybe yeah, you should just leave yeah, it. Yeah, I like that idea better. Okay. I, I feel like that was a really simple puzzle, though. I feel like you did so. That's yeah. just my guess. No, I see. I agree. Maybe entirely. that maybe that did something that actually like opened up something. Close we'll, that. We'll for come now. back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go everywhere we can first. There's one thing we've learned in Mist. It's if you can't figure it out immediately, probably haven't figured out the puzzle yet. Oh, it's magnetic. Impossible. Every scientific principle I know tells me these rocks shouldn't be floating. And yet, somehow, they are. They are. Dun, dun, Don't know dun. how you did it, Father. But if you can write, I can certainly use it. If my son told me that, I would totally just make some really bizarre rules. Just 
looks like he already did. Just like seven legged cats. Yeah, everywhere. You know? Yeah, just like this. This. Can this, you use that? Yeah. You this, gotta feed him either way. Just to even see if you can try anything. Oh, <laughs> this age is made up exclusively of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Well, physics. he would be fed. Oh, it's true. He would be. He would probably be over. Oh, there's another slide you can make. Remarkable. No change to its molecular structure, no build-up of illumination inside. As long as the crystal remains grounded, electricity just passes straight through it. Interesting. So Perfect it's copper. Conductor. So it needs to have a conductor so, to the surface in yeah. a minute. That has to be grounded. Oh, is that a, something you can push at the bottom left? Straight left. Oh, right here? Yeah. No. Okay. I don't hear anything right now. And now Maybe I hear something. Is there something you can turn right there? Uh, on the right oh, side? yes. It's a magnetic charge in the bottom of the pulley and pulls it down. Otherwise, it floats. Okay, but so then what does flipping that switch do? It, I would assume, like that's it's, it's like a capacitor. Uh, it builds and holds okay, charge. Okay, that's what's going on. And it's just going to keep holding this charge until so I switch it, it and it pulls that down. Uh, so when it gets a charge from it, and it drops. Yeah. So basically, when these rocks somehow get electricity, they will fall. I, uh, maybe they'll move towards the source. Maybe that's it. Yeah, is that a magnet under it? That's I, would, it I would assume like it's like an electromagnet, magnet, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting principles. So it's interesting because, okay, we're learning that the white crystals uh, can be used to charge things. The green crystals float. Because you can see all these white crystals up here. Yeah. Uh, there's some. I assume weren't that's those the, the track. That were, weren't those the ones that were lit up where, uh, like where you just were running the, the thing? I don't know. Were they lit? I mean, there there's some that are maybe that like like because being electric. Like, there were four bright lights in front of you. What? Yeah. Uh, maneuvering that machine and so Has to be fake. Has to be. But will getting to it allow me to finally reach the ground? Huh. Have to know. Have to get over there. So the floaty boat thingy like takes over there, tower? probably. Yeah. It's a little interesting. Yeah, that's uh, not what I, so I expected. Sorry. Oh yeah, how was your punch thing? Was it grapefruit? I don't know what grapefruit tastes like. Sort of mixed with sweet tarts. So look left weird. again. Sweet. Keep looking okay. left. There's yeah. There's more stuff over here. Ooh. There's a bucket. Oh, that's, oh, that's a book. No. Yay! He'll read to us. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> It appears that I have underestimated him. I did not think he could be this devious. He always said Spire was dangerous, but I assumed he meant its people were violent. 
violent and potentially xenophobic. The perfect combination with which to orchestrate a coup. But there are no people here. No prosperous civilization for me to rule. I see now how his linking panel fooled me. Congratulations, Father. This hand goes to you. See, he's one of the places to go like this. I like his little slack. I have established a temporary encampment near the vegetal cavern. I have established a temporary... Oh, oh, oh. I, 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 I... Yeah, the mouse started sliding off, so I grabbed it and hit no, all the you buttons. you just got angry, and you just started hitting things. I, well, you need to work on this, man. I went to a few classes, I just couldn't I deal with it. I have established a temporary encampment near the vegetal cavern. The food I brought with me should last a month. After that, I will be forced to grow what I eat. The plants here are neither scrumptious nor overly abundant. But I have tasted several and find the nutrition is there. Turning now to the question of escape, I believe there may yet be a missed linking book here. The simplest way for Father to have disposed of it would have been to jump off the palace as he touched it. There are other ways, of course, but I cannot ignore this possibility. I must at least attempt to reach the ground. This is fast becoming unacceptable. I have slid down every oddly shaped windpipe in this age and have yet to see below the second cloud layer. I was fairly certain that at least three of the passages would prove successful. Yet even they dead ended inside a magnificent sealed cavern full of crystals. The crystals themselves are curious. Something about their inner matrix makes them susceptible to a buildup of negative charges. When I touched one, I received a terrible shock. At the same time, the faint light that had been emanating from the crystal faded, and I heard a very curious hum, which ceased as soon as the crystal's charge was expended. I should like to study these crystals more thoroughly and will institute a plan to mine the cavern extensively. Oh, no. Last night, I saw lights flickering in some of the other palaces. It occurred to me that I might not be alone. What if this age is like stone ship? Father never could explain how Emmett and Branch just appeared there. He said the art was always surprising him. Could it be that the lights I saw flickering were made by other people? What I would give to discover this is true. After all these months of solitude, just to have another person to talk to. About the floating rocks. There is a phosphorescent green mineral running through much of this age which exhibits strong diamagnetic properties. At least that is the most workable hypothesis I have devised that can explain how the rocks I see outside my garden are able to float. This has given me an idea. If I can capture one of the larger boulders, I should be able to turn it into a vessel and thereby sail across the clouds to the nearest palace. The most difficult obstacle to achieving this will be maintaining the necessary altitude. I have noticed that these rocks float higher than the highest point on that palace. Forcing my ship to float lower than it prefers will take some doing. For the past few weeks, I've been watching storms move through the second cloud layer. They appear as flashes of light inside the strata. The violence of these storms does not reach me in the garden. I encounter no rain, barely feel the wind. I am completely safe here, nestled between layers. I do not know how this is possible. How could Father have created a world which exhibits so many scientific impossibilities? He never did explain how to write an age. He never taught Agnar or I the art. I wonder now if I should have insisted. The crystals I mine from the lower cavern are really quite remarkable. There seems to be no limit to the amount of electricity they can store. 
Unfortunately, this makes working with them difficult. So long as a charged crystal is isolated, the energy inside it remains trapped in its matrix. But the moment the crystal even brushes against a grounded object, stored charge flows out, producing a most amazing song. I should like to capitalize on this singing ability, if only as a pleasant diversion. It might be nice to hear some music in these caverns. Regardless, I believe the crystals can solve my rock ship problem. By affixing them to some of the floating rocks and casting them back into the clouds, I should be able to harness enough of Spire's natural electricity to fuel an electromagnet. The attractive force of the magnet combined with the smaller magnetic fields of the lightning conductors should be able to lower the ship and guide it to the nearest palace. It is definitely worth an attempt. Another storm is brewing as I write this. I can feel the hairs on my arms starting to rise. I'm almost crazed with anticipation, waiting to test the first conductor. My God, is this what Father felt? Every time his hand hovered above the panel of a book he'd just written? Did he feel this much excitement as he stood poised to learn of his theories and worked? Why did he never share this with me? If he had, perhaps things could have been different between us. The first conductor is glowing. Here goes nothing. No, 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 no! My calculations were perfect. The ship should not have broken free. The distance between the conductors must be too great. I'm going to have to add more to the system, but if I do, the electromagnetic pull will be too strong and the ship will crash to the floor. So can I counterbalance it? Create a second electromagnet in the roof of the garden? I am going to have to start building again and capture another rock for a ship. This mistake has set me back years. But I am close, so close to reaching the nearest palace and from there maybe accessing the ground. I only hope the linking book still works. He's in for the rudest of awakenings. Yeah. When their linking book isn't on the ground. It could be. It's not. Where is it? No. I mean, it's in the the alcove that Beatrice has created for us. We can get back. We're fine. Maybe. And he said there are other ways by which you can hide it. I think that the alcove was made after he got trapped here. Okay. Because that was a method for his father to visit it. I think that Atris is writing these from scratch. But to get off of here before he made the alcove with the book, he would have had to have a book back to Mist. Maybe. I mean... I don't know what the rules for carrying books are. Well, you can't link with a book, because it's... Every time you see someone link, it falls. And that's why when Atris linked out of Ribbon, the book... Yeah, I, I, I remember that, but, like... So, I mean, that... That's all that we've seen, but we don't know that that's true. That's, that's true. It's all we can go on, though, because that's all we've seen. And it seems reasonable to assume it would continue to fall. Your faith in me is truly amazing, Mother. How long before I kill this one? Uh, okay. He's making a joke about not having a green thumb. <laughs> Inserted crystals into his grow into his food source, so that when he eats, he gets electrified. I think that's what he's doing. 
not creating I think that might be how he's generating those crystals for his electromagnets. I thought he was finding them. Maybe that's how he got fireball powers. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I just wish I could zoom in and actually inspect all of this. I think that's a greenhouse. I mean, these all... I don't they know. look like lights. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I think that's that, what the lights That's true. It could be like a heater. So is this gonna be a big? <laughs> yes. As big as the last one. <laughs> so it depends on how you want to look at it. <laughs> what is that noise? Is it us walking? Like well, a, if you're taking this moment 